Today's tutorial is about how to get the right settings for your mixer brush tool when you're going to do your frequency separation. I've been getting so many questions about this and this tutorial is for you guys about the right settings and how to apply your mixer brush and when you're trying to blend uh, your skin tones when you're doing your frequency separation and this image was taken by my lord shots i'm going to put his link down in the description so that you guys can check him out he's an amazing photographer and yeah this tutorial is about how to get the right mixture brush tool settings when you're going to do your frequency separation in photoshop and i'm ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching and if at all you haven't subscribed don't forget to subscribe to this channel and this is the image i've already done editing on this image as you can see it is already edited and i already color graded it so initially this was the before and after before after i will be uploading a video about the color grading but this tutorial today is not all about uh, how i did the color grading is about the mixer brush tool so i am going to i'm going to delete this right here i feel sad but that's fine so uh like i said uh before doing your frequency separation uh you can go in for what really works best for you and for me usually i prefer to first of all do uh my mixer brush tool and i mix the skin because i flatten the uh, blemishes and they be simple to remove so and for this tutorial, I decided first of all remove the blemish as you can see. Let me try zooming in. So this is the before after before after. So usually, I prefer first of all duplicate the background. Uh, this layer right here, Control J. Then I'm going to come right to my um, actions and. I'm going to be giving you guys this action for free so that you can use it for your uh, retouching. So this is my freaking separation action right here. And I'm going to play the action. So when you play the action, make sure uh, you move the radius until you're seeing less of uh, the skin texture. So uh, for this tutorial, I think I'm going to go in for around I'm going to go in for around 8.5 let me just type it in because i can't get it right 8.5 so i'm going to click ok make sure you blur the radius until you lose out the skin texture in the image so click continue and yeah we'll be done i think that's all uh with applying the freaking separation action so i'm going to come right here uh, in my frequency separation right here you can see and i'm going to open this group right here i'm going to come right to my high frequency and before i can select my mixer brush tool i'm going to come and i select uh black and white so when this really appears it uh, the reason for creating this black and white right here is because uh, we want something to guide us where uh, and show us where the skin tones are imperfect on the portrait or the image so come to the red channel right here and pull it all the way down you can see now you can see where the skin tones are not uh, blending in you can see this bumpiness so uh, the purpose of using a mixer brush tool uh, we are going to be blending these uneven skin tones together and uh, when you're using a mixer brush tool make sure you mix the mid tones alone and the highlights alone and that transition uh, between uh, the highlights and the mid tones so uh, come to your lower frequency make sure it is selected and come right here and look for your mixer brush tool and if it is not right here it is usually under the brushes just there so mine is down here right click and select the mixer brush tool so for the settings now so this is the uh, the major emphasis for this tutorial uh, make sure it is a clean brush right here and you're getting these little boxes and white so make sure you have selected this uh, little box right here and 
Uh, the weightness, I usually prefer using a weightness of 10. Uh, load, I prefer 75%. The mix at 90 and the flow at 100%. Let me repeat for you guys. Um, make sure it is a clean brush and this box here is selected. The weightness is at 10%. Uh, the uh, load is at 75, the mix at 90, and the flow is at 100. Make sure sample all layers is not checked, and make sure you are on your lower frequency layer. Then uh, increase uh, the brush using the left and the right brackets on the keyboard, and start uh, blending. Remember, when you're doing the mixing, uh, mix the highlights alone, the midtones alone, and uh, the shadows alone don't cross over from the highlights to uh, the shadows so you can see i'm mixing these little mid-tones together and i'm blending uh, the skin tones in the mid-tones together and when i come to the highlights i i come to this transition and i blend it in you can see this then i'm going to come right here and i'm going to blend uh, this sort of highlight together and kind of sort soften it so you can see if i turn off the black and white layer you can see the before and the after before after you can see this part right here and the other thing uh, when you're using a mixer brush to make sure you don't totally zoom in your image because you may end up distorting and the shape of the image and you may not get uh, to know that you distorted the shape of the face so make sure you don't zoom in completely so work on the image like this the way someone is going to be uh, viewing it like on their devices so increase the brush and continue uh, doing this and like I said you can really take your time and make sure you are on your lower frequency layer or your, text, uh, your color layer right here yeah people call it the color layer or the lower frequency layer but for this action i used lower frequency as you can see we have some little bit of midtones right here and you can see how i'm blending them and the other thing you should know i blend according to the shape of the uh, area you can see right here below the eye the shape uh my stroke is going sideways because uh that's the direction of the eye so make sure you do that so keep on checking on your progress to see the before and the after you can see how we are blending these uh, skin tones right here like i said i don't want this tutorial to be a long one so i'm going to do the mixing or not uh, not on the whole face so i hope you guys will bear with me so i just want to show you guys uh what the mixer brush tool does and the magic it creates to uh, your images so you can see this dark spot right here i'm trying to uh, soften it and make it even by blending it in the skin yeah like literally what i'm doing i'm blending and merging the skin tones together you can see what we are doing right now so make sure you come right to this eyebrow and now let's try mixing and blending this nose area right here you can see we have uh, some bit of shadow mix it so for the highlight mix it alone right here and you're going to come to uh, this shadow on this other end of the nose and mix it so uh, make sure you do take your time because you want to get at uh, the base out, out of your freaking separation so let me show you guys the before and the after for this because uh, this tutorial is about uh, the base settings for your mixer brush tool and freaking separation so i'm going to turn off uh, the black and white layer so this is the before after before after you can see we have uh, managed to even 
uh, the skin tones together and yeah we have retained the texture in the skin so you can see the before and the after it is there is no big difference uh in, between the initial image and the retouched image so you can see for this part we have money to mix right here you can see how beautiful the skin tones and how they look so this tutorial has been about the best uh, mixer brush settings and how to use the mixer brush tool in photoshop and yeah you can continue and retouch the image and after that make sure you just come right to the black and white layer and delete it because yeah its use will already be uh, completed so this tutorial has been about how to use the mixer brush tool in photoshop and how the right settings and how to blend it the right way when you are doing your frequency fashion in order to retain the texture and for the frequency fashion action i'm going to put the link down in the description and this image was by my lord shorts so i'm going to put his link in the description so that you can you guys can follow him up and check him out he's an amazing photographer i'm ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching see you in yet another retouching tutorial and that may be about color grading this very image so see you stay safe